Hello everyone, and I'm here to actually give you a movie review on Rufus. And Rufus is basically a movie that does the reverse of what Shaggy Dog does. So what I thought is that what's going to happen with Rufus is the basic thing of either A, he flips a coin, the coin goes into the coin pond, and then wish comes true. B, a magician like in freaking nightmare room where you had the stupid damn doll that says i want to be your friend forever that's the one i hate the most that if i have to hate any episode in freaking nightmare room it's that one that's about it so it happened the third thing which i kind of figured but i didn't really think about that is the fact that there was a medallion that just was lost at sea and lucky for us it lands on shady lake park or shady park shady creek park and i think that's what it's called either way it shows up there and when you had the protagonist or the basically the main character named manny which my mom says manny does not even look hispanic but i don't i didn't even care i just wanted to see what the story goes so manny was just playing one day and then he kicked the ball in the water Rufus founds, finds it, finds a medallion, and he grabbed it and everything, and then Manny's like, okay, fine, I'm going to put this necklace around you, so there you go, the medallion, which it turns out is a talisman, and there was a little issue when it comes to cutting, because they didn't show Manny actually grabbing a ball, so the ball, I figured, was just still in there, but then it turns out that he actually got the ball but he got it off screen, which is not really that good. With that said, my goodness, with that said, so what happens is this is that one, he had his first day. The first day was crappy as hell. It was going all good, except he didn't watch where he was going, and the ladder hit him, and that blue paint just splattered all over his clothes, or at least all over his shirt and vest. Which my mom walked out. And as soon as that happened, mom walked out. She's like, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> so after that, you basically had the whole thing of the story unfold where he's like, I wish I had a friend in the world that actually cares. He didn't say anything about, I wish my dog was my friend. So the talisman just heard him and said, mm, well, since I'm on a dog, uh, why not? <laughs> he's like, yeah, since I'm on the dog, why not? And then he just turned the dog into a boy, which... There was some funny stuff. I have to admit, it kind of like, it was kind of like Encino Man, but it's dog this time. Yeah, so instead of a Neanderthal or having an extra friend, he just had Rufus who turned into a person. Yeah, that was kind of cool. They did lots of cool stuff on there. It was a very, very entertaining movie. It really was. Uh, let's see. The weird part was that, number one, the parents didn't actually see the dog being missed at all. Yes, yeah, all the way until the end where they're like, wait, where's the dog? Oh, frick, we lost the dog. It's like, the dog's been missing for a few days. You would figure that they would already ask, where did the dog go? But apparently not. We're just like, okay, that's a little odd. You had some cool stuff where you had the dog actually... Rufus actually being a good, a good goalie. That's it, a good goalie. I would figure he was going to go out for the soccer team, and that would have been cool. Maybe extended version. He actually would be in a soccer game, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> it would have been cool. It would have been very, very cool. And, of course, there is a girl interest. There is an interest. Her name is Paige. One thing I figured would happen is just the fact that there was a misunderstanding and, of course, Rufus basically was setting his friend up and also set up him and Paige. So it's like best in show. And yeah, Manny thought it was going to be Rufus. Rufus is hyping himself up. No, he was hyping picking you both up. And then when it came to asking someone out, he actually asked Paige out in Manny's behalf, which... Yeah, that's what I figured. <laughs> Not only that, but they had a decent, cool song that actually had dog barking mixed in, which that was cool. That was kind of like the song that happened in Dr. Doolittle that was featured with Baby Giggles, which even if you try to look for that song, guess what? There is no, well, 
I guess since 2003. 2003 was when I last checked, or when it was checked. Yeah, it turns out that they don't even have a music video for that song. What the frick is that all about? <laughs> what the frick is that all about? With that said, the movie was interesting. The movie is good. You had some things where you had the dog. Rufus actually acting like a dog, but he was a person. And he got super widely popular. And usually when the end where Manny actually blew off Rufus and made him sad, that's where I thought, oh, Rufus ran away. Another thing I forgot to talk about is the henchmen and the bad guys, because there has to be bad guys. You had Dr. I mean, Mr. Black, not Dr. Black, Mr. Black, and two henchmen who were never named. Actually, three henchmen who were never named. It was kind of funny. You had the freaking male henchman, the one that doesn't have commando gear on. He's like, I'll do it. And he tried to freaking swing to Rufus in the first attempt and got hit by a trash <laughs> hit by a trash truck uh garbage truck and then when he they have weapons now and he has freaking damn mace and she has a freaking katana he's like no i'll get them and he walks right in the street and again the same garbage truck oh my god he didn't see that coming that was just so good <laughs> watch out for that oh my god <laughs> Oh, um, let's see. <laughs> yeah, so right at the end is like the crazy part is where the parents basically are frantic and they're looking for him, which I guess was a good thing. I thought that they were going to actually come right in when everything was going on. So it's like, oh, frick, he has a gun. Now he has his freaking parents at gunpoint. That means all oh, everyone that Rufus loves is at gunpoint now. Frick. <laughs> um... That's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Everything got resolved. They actually did some creative stuff. Apparently, Rufus already told Paige, I'm a dog. <laughs> and, well, they had some cool stuff at the end. And, well, it two things that happened. Number one, the medallion is freaking scratched. Yeah, the medallion is actually now to the point of where he can't turn into a dog anymore. But, and it's like, I'll keep this at the end. The second thing that happened is that after all this was said and done and everyone got caught by the police, Mr. Black was able to survive and run away. And this is where the crazy part, because they want to be silly and funny as Frick, but I say it was a good movie until this point. This point is where I'm like, oh, Frick, why you guys had to do that? Because Rufus said, the squirrels, isn't it? It was the squirrels. It's like, oh, Frick. So you have to fool that in there. So it turns out that the person who hired Mr. Black was a freaking damn squirrel who can talk. What the hell? <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> so you're telling me that no squirrel wants a medallion for some kind of reason? Yeah, I would have preferred just Mr. Black wanted it. Yeah, so personally for me, because they left it up in the air of will it ever happen again? Will Rufus ever become a boy again? Yeah, you had a med and you had the talisman and medallion going for a little bit. Personally, I think all the movies that they come out for Nickelodeon could actually just be a nice little nod saying, we want to test it out to see if it could actually be a series. Which is not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. I mean, Disney, on the other hand, doing that, like the freaking <laughs> The Lion King, no, The Lion Guard, Return of the Roar. Now that, that was crap. But Nickelodeon, on the other hand, they can do whatever they want. So, I'm shocked that Good Burger never actually became a series. I mean, yes, it was on all that, but even Action League now got to have their own series. That kind of sucks that Good Burger never just had, like, one season on its own. Whatever. Anyways, it's a good. it was a good movie. The only messed up part is just the fact of the squirrel. That was the big, big cough-up, which would land this movie on... Movie dislikes. the Just one little thing that was wrong with it. But anyways, you can watch it. It's okay. I bet it's going to come around very, very soon and get to watch it again. If it does become a series, holy frick. But if not, eh. Thank you for watching and have a great night.